So one of these pieces is going to be a center piece and this piece I will need to cut in half. The next thing I want to do is route out a rebate joint for the pieces of pine to sit in. I used my trim router upside down in the vise and a rebate bit as a kind of makeshift router table and cut the joints. For the centre piece of the lid I needed to cut the rebate on both sides rather than just one side. Then I could glue and clamp the arcs in place. I checked with the tape measure to get the central one as centred as possible. And I used the off cut from one of the arc side cuts to help with clamping it up. Next I needed to cut some more pine for cladding the lid. So I used a lot of the random pallet wood and scraps that I had that looked a similar grain and species to the pine that I'd used for the box. On the pallet wood I cut around all of the nail holes and knots as I didn't want any of those to be visible on the finished chest. I've put these pieces into order of thickness, the thicker ones being this side and the thinner ones being this side. And now I can run all of these through the thickness planer, starting with the thickest ones, to get them all to the same thickness. Next I cleaned up the edges at the table saw and cut all the pieces to width. The glue on the top pieces is now dry and I've cut one of these pieces of pine to length to fit in between the rebate joints. And at the moment these pieces of pine are too thick because I want them to be flush with the sapili. I could run these pieces through the thickness planer again to make them thinner, but I don't really want to compromise the strength of the pine pieces. So what I'm going to do is cut a rebate joint into the pine pieces, something like that, so that these sit in place and finish off flush with the sapili. The rebate would need to take 6mm off the thickness of the material, so I set the table saw blade to that height. And the joint would need to be 10mm wide. I marked up the 10mm on one of the pieces of pine using the calipers on both ends and then lined up the blade with those marks to cut a test piece. That worked out well, so I set up a stop block in order to make repeatable cuts and then I could cut all of the joints to all of the pieces. I've got all of the top pieces fitted now and I had to rip one piece down on the table saw just to fill the last gap. So now I need to take all of these pieces out, apply some wood glue and refit them. I used some masking tape and numbered each piece for reference just in case any of them fell out while I tried to remove all of the pieces together. But using a stick underneath to help remove them I ended up being able to lift them out without any issues. Then I could apply glue and seat them back in with a mallet. I cleaned up the glue squeeze out with a damp cloth. I kept hold of these curved off cuts from the Sapili pieces and they will match the contour of the top. So I can use these to evenly apply some weight from front to back. Next I needed to get the pieces of pine on the lid flush with the sapili, and I used the hand plane for this. 
And I did this quite carefully because I didn't want to plane away any of the Sapili. So I've managed to get this about as flush as I can with a hand plane and it's looking pretty good. Next I sanded the top with the orbital sander and the detail sander. Looking at the chest, I think it might look nicer if this strip of sapili continues down the front and the back of the box. So I'm going to cut another piece of sapili to the same width as this piece and the same thickness as this. I ripped another piece of sapili to size on the table saw, cut it to length on the mitre saw, then I applied wood glue and used a speed square to help me position it level with the piece of sapili on the lid. I added a clamp and then secured it in place from the inside with some brad nails. That looks better. I have this old piano hinge that came from an old pine drop leaf table and I'll use this for the treasure chest. It's a little bit too long for the box at the moment so I need to cut this to size. So this hinge is 4mm thick and I want to cut a rebate in the box to accommodate some of the thickness of that hinge. Now I'm just going to centre this on the box and draw around it. I'm going to use a straight edge to guide my cut. I need to measure the distance between the outside of the router bit and the edge of the base and that's 38 millimeters. So I need the fence to be 38 millimeters away from the line that I've drawn. I've got a really nice fit on one side but on the other side I need to round over the corner of this hinge a little more. Now to drill some holes for the screws. I fancy a, um, a crusty roll. Do you want a crusty roll? I'll have a crusty roll. I'm going to have tuna and red onion. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So now when the hinge closes, the top of the hinge is pretty much flush with the rim of the box, which means when the lid is fitted there won't be a big unsightly gap. Time to attach the lid to the hinge next, and to do that I'm going to use hot glue on the hinge so that I can then position the lid where I want it, try and get it centred to the box as much as possible. I'll wait for the glue to dry, then I can flip the lid open and attach the hinge with screws on the inside. I used an old 3x2 propped up as an extra hand to hold the lid in place for me while I added the screws. To get the sides of the lid perfectly flush with the box I used the belt sander. Then I did some final sanding with the orbital sander. I want to finish the chest with some wax and I've got both a clear wax and a rustic pine wax. Originally I was thinking of using the rustic pine wax on the pine which will make it look like this. Basically gives it more of a brown tone and the reason I like that is because over time pine darkens and goes this sort of orangey colour and I don't really like that orangey colour so with this wax applied when it darkens it won't look so orangey. And then on the sapili I was going to use the clearberry wax which looks like this. It basically brings the grain out a little bit and gives it more of a finished look. But then I tried applying the rustic pine wax to the sapili and I actually really like the way that that looks. It basically adds a lot more contrast to the grain. So I'm actually going to apply the rustic pine wax to the whole chest. I applied the wax with a cotton cloth and I also used a paintbrush to get into the corners. 
To finish off the box I bought a couple of handles from eBay. And I also bought this latch from eBay too. 